John Mackey and Raj Sisodia. Conscious Capitalism, Liberating the Heroic Spirit of Business. Today's business leaders face a crisis of confidence. Polls show public trust in corporations near historic lows. Many feel companies prioritise profits over people and the planet. Executives struggle to motivate disengaged workers. How can business recapture respect and inspire excellence? John Mackey, co-founder of Whole Foods Market, provides answers in conscious capitalism. He outlines an enlightened path forward, one where business uplifts humanity. Companies can rediscover what he calls their heroic purpose. The key idea here is that passionate work cultures blossom when focused on meaning, not just money. Now in this very short blink, we'll focus on one aspect of Mackey's approach. The idea of conscious leadership which unlocks creativity and care. There's a better way. Over the last 200 years, free enterprise capitalism has created extraordinary prosperity and innovation that has transformed life for billions of people. In just two centuries, businesses and entrepreneurs have helped increase global per capita income by 1,000%, and the average life expectancy has risen from 30 to 68 years. Capitalism has enabled billions to earn a living and find meaning by creating value for others. Despite these achievements, capitalism has earned little affection. It's often vilified as exploitative and blamed for problems like inequality, community fragmentation and environmental degradation. The reputation of business has suffered as a result. For example, Americans' confidence in big business had declined from 34% in 1975 to just 19% by 2011. Why this disconnect? A root issue is that too many businesses operate with low consciousness about their true purpose and impacts. In a narrow pursuit of profits, some companies have caused unintended negative consequences for people, communities and the planet. Many businesses fail to recognise their significant environmental and social impacts, treating these as externalities. Within companies, symptoms of dysfunction abound, like low employee engagement, stagnant wages contrasted with exorbitant executive pay and lack of workplace solidarity. It's understandable that the reputation of business has suffered. That's why we need better business practices. The path forward is to operate with greater consciousness of purpose and impact. Conscious leaders deliver value to all stakeholders, treating employees, partners, customers and communities not as merely means to an end, but as ends in themselves. They build trusting relationships and understand the human elements of business like creativity, collaboration and a sense of higher purpose. Conscious businesses seek to create financial, intellectual, social, cultural, emotional, spiritual, physical and ecological wealth. They have a deeper purpose that goes beyond short-term profits. Conscious businesses realise capitalism's heroic potential Conscious businesses start with dreams of creating positive impacts, not just making money. The founders aspire to build organisations that enrich lives, resonate with purpose and deliver value for generations. They aim to bring joy, meaning and pride to all who interact with the company. At conscious companies, work culture is grounded in love, care and camaraderie, not fear and stress. Employees derive a sense of fulfilment from dedicating their talents to a shared mission. They feel energised by collaborating with passionate colleagues who become like family. Customer relationships feel more like trusted friendships than impersonal transactions. Suppliers are embraced into the company's circle of care and treated with the same dignity as team members. Conscious leaders recognise the interconnected nature of business relationships. The company contributes to every community it inhabits, elevating civic life. Competitors are seen as peers to learn from, not adversaries. The environment is conserved out of a sense of stewardship, not legal obligation. Conscious companies are self-managing, self-motivating and self-organising. They hire those naturally aligned with their values and give employees autonomy. There's less need for control when people are intrinsically committed to the shared mission. Leaders provide inspiration through mentorship, not commands. Wisdom and love supersede formal authority. 
Every decision and action is considered through the lens of how it will affect each stakeholder, employees, customers, communities, the environment and future generations. This commitment to shared prosperity creates a virtuous cycle where the business continues thriving for decades. Think of Patagonia. It's an example of the heroic side of capitalism, a brand that melds profit with purpose. From its 1% for the Planet initiative, which channels significant funds to environmental causes, to its transparent supply chain and campaigns like Don't Buy This Jacket That Discourage Waste, Patagonia embodies a model of responsible business. Instead of mere short-term gains, it values environmental stewardship, fair labour practices and sustainable growth. Conscious businesses like Patagonia and Whole Foods Market operate with a deeper sense of purpose that serves all stakeholders. They represent the heroic potential of capitalism to be a force for good. As more companies embrace this evolution to higher purpose, they pave the way for others. In this very short blink to Conscious Capitalism by John Mackey and Raj Sisodia, you've learned that businesses overly focused on profits cause harm, but business uplifts humanity when purpose-driven. Conscious companies enrich lives beyond profits. With care and higher ideals, they transform work culture. This blink was narrated by an AI-generated voice model of one of our narrators. We hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next blink.